Hey friends, it's Susan from Legs Like Mine. Here in the States, it is just a couple of days before Thanksgiving, which means a lot of us, especially women, are doing all kinds of extra stuff like cooking and cleaning and making pies and rolls and blah, 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 right? And it is really easy to fall into the trap, which I have fallen into every single year for years. And I almost did it this morning. So I just wanted to share with you um, what I do whenever I'm hosting a big event is I'll lay in bed and whenever I wake up, I'm like, oh, I have to, you know, get the potatoes peeled. I have to scrub the kitchen. I have to blah, 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 right? And so I'll go in for my morning cup of coffee. And um, normally what I would do is head to my office where I use the vibration plate, kind of figure out what my day is going to look like. And then I'll go get ready, put on my compression shoes, blah, 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 right? And anyway, everything gets all out of whack whenever it is time to be hosting a party. So what ends up happening is you go in and get your coffee or whatever you're going to start your day off with, and then you just start doing the things. And um, this morning I was in there and I had this beautiful cup of coffee made and I was like, oh, I should um, do a load of dishes because I had some dishes in the sink. And then I was like, oh, I wanted to clean the microwave out before I started doing all of the Thanksgiving cooking. So I did that. And then I was like, oh, I really want to have a perfectly scrubbed out refrigerator before I um, have people over and, you know, they're going to be in and out of the fridge and blah, blah, blah. So I'm halfway in the fridge with my rear end hanging out, trying to scrub up where I spilled some jelly or something in the back and have let it sit there for a while. I'm not the world's best housekeeper. I'm gonna, not going to lie. It's not terrible, but, you know, there are times whenever like every couple of weeks I'll go into the fridge and I'm like, all right. <laughs> Let's get all the leftovers out and start fresh, right? So hosting a party is always a great thing for us here in our house because it's a good reason to do a deep clean. Anyway, I digress. I'm halfway through all of that and I'm like, dude, I haven't even had one sip of my coffee. I'm still in my pajamas. I don't have my compression on. I don't have my shoes on. This is like a recipe for feeling like crap soon and also later. And in years past, <laughs> I would like do all of the preparation for holidays and stuff before I knew about compression, before I knew about wearing good shoes with good arch supports. And at the end of the day, my feet would be throbbing and my legs would be swollen up. So I stopped myself this morning and I'm like, nope, just let the fridge set. Go do your things. Go take your medications. Go drink a glass of water. Brush your teeth take a shower, put on compression, put on shoes. And so now I've reset myself and I'm like, I have to do these things because my knees are going to hurt anyway. That's just a given. But maybe I can keep my feet from being totally sore and maybe I can keep my legs from blowing up. So that's my reminder to you and to me, Susan, stop and do the things you have to do to take care of yourself before you go getting ready for hosting your party and all that stuff. That being said, I've now had a shower. I still, it is like, it is 12, 15. I haven't finished my first cup of coffee, but at least I did eat some breakfast and now I'm on to drinking water. I did take my medication. I brushed my teeth, right? So now I have the whole day to fiddle around and clean the stove, clean the microwave, get all the food and everything ready to go. But at least at the end of tonight, my feet aren't going to just be howling in pain because I didn't stop and think about it and be like, I still have to do these things. Um, so I wanted to tell you one other thing I did before I sign off today. When I was in the shower today, I was like, I may not have time to swim today. It's kind of, it's a little bit cool here. I may not, I definitely won't have time to pull out the pump. That's like, I, it's not my favorite. And if I can swim, I always will swim before I use the pump. But anyway, <clears throat> I may not have to, time to do like a full MLD session or whatever. So I took like four extra minutes in the shower this morning. I put double conditioner on, woo woo. And I did some diaphragmic breathing while I was in the shower and then I was like, you know what? I may not have time to do MLD. So I took that extra couple of minutes while the conditioner was soaking in. And I did some lymph node opening stuff. And I worked on my legs just a little tiny bit. 
And that set me up for then putting on my compression, putting on good shoes and going off to the day. So um, just to recap, don't just roll out of bed and start doing all the things like take a minute, put on your compression, put on your shoes, drink some water, take your meds. You know, if you don't have time and you've made a deal with the devil, like I'm not going to do my pump or whatever today, take a couple of extra minutes in the shower for some good deep breathing and to do a little bit of self-massage in the areas that are affected by lipedema or lymphedema. It might make your day and your evening tonight, right? Because we're going into a couple days of pretty heavy duty being on your feet um, a lot better. So anyway, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the States and um, happy being thankful to everyone else. Hope you have a great day and I will see you later. I am now going to go... Um, have a nice lunch someplace, and then the cooking begins.